Prosti! Shabbat! Have you seen a guy named Shabbat? A tall, thin guy who looks like Snake, the singer of Voivod? No? God, he is the sport of Shabbat. Did I ever look for that bastard? He's always lost, Chris. He's worse than a Shetsky. When he was born, he was mixed up with the dead baby, and ever since, it's almost in his genes. Shabbat and lust, it's, uh, fuck, how do you say that? Um, synonymous. Well, I've known Shabbat for a fucking while. We're both coming from Scottstown. Scottstown, you know where it is? It's close to gold. You know, on the Berry Road? Higher than Milan when you get to Megantic. Oh, fuck, man, do you guys travel sometimes? Anyways, it's far, it's lost, like Shabbat. And there's nothing new around. Even with cable TV, time can pass fucking slowly. But at least we're not working anymore. And with the pot we're selling, we make enough money to eat and get drunk all year long. So, we're in December, and Christmas is near. And uh, me and Shabbat were like, there's no fucking way we're gonna have a boring Christmas this year. You know when you're single and you have no kids and your sister in laws into hummus and compost dips? Christmas can be a fucking downer. But hey, what could we do? We didn't know. Hey, it's Christmas Eve, it's about 9.30, and Shabbat and me, we're fucking racking our brains because we still don't know what we're going to do tonight. So Shabbat says, how about we celebrate Christmas in Montreal? Montreal, worst fucking plan ever. We went there once, went in grade four, I think, with the school and the teacher and the Beatles smelled like shit to visit the big thing, you know, where people climb up the stairs on their knees, uh, the oratory. And, well, uh, Shabbat and me were pissed in the stairs. <laughs> Fuck, teenager stuff, right? <laughs> so, it doesn't appeal to me at all, but I'm like, fucking hey, right, man. 